Taking your furry friend on a road trip in the near future, you might be surprised at how much prepping you'll need to do to ensure comfort and safety. Consumer Reports has some helpful tips to make sure traveling with your pet goes off without a hitch. One-year-old Mabel and her family have been preparing for a six-hour road trip to Vermont. We started to do small trips around town, going to our neighbors' homes, in the car, that sort of thing. And that's not all. Just ask trainer Holly Santana. You should have consistency. So you want the same food, you want the same schedule. And so if they eat at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., keep at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And she says bring a towel or bed with the scent from home, keep the car cool, and take breaks every three hours at least. Also useful, cleaning supplies, doggy bags, leash, collar, and ID tags with your dog's name and your contacts. And don't forget about safety. Pets can act as projectiles if they're not secured. Securing them is a must. The Center for Pet Safety with Subaru conducted crash tests on dummy dogs. They found among the most secure restraints, the Sleepy Pod Air Carrier for about $160, the Gunner Kennels G1 Intermediate Crate for $500, and the Sleepy Pod Click It Sport Harness between $65 and $75. And they recommended dogs up to 90 pounds should be secured in the rear seat opposite the driver's side, in larger cars in the rear seat or in a crate in its cargo area. For three-row vehicles with captain's chairs, dogs up to 20 pounds should be secured in the second row, larger dogs in the third row. And if traveling with children, secure the child in the second row and the dog behind on the opposite side. Family trips to Vermont are very important to us. I want to make sure that everyone in the car is safe.